Yes. Mm, today we are going to see how to connect to Oracle TLC Release 1 database using Python. So today we are going to use Python 3.4 version and uh, uh, this is the page uh, where we actually uh, will get the library by which which will actually help to connect uh, to Oracle database from Python. So my Oracle database is on Red Hat Linux 6.0 6.4 64-bit and uh, I have been connected uh, through uh, Putty and uh, we have been we, are in, we have installed our <coughs> CX underscore Oracle 5.1.3 this version from this download link I provided the download link you can download your own uh, desired version whichever you need whichever Python version you have been installed on your computer so I've been using Python 3.4 so I'll definitely uh, install this one uh, this AMD64 Papai 3.4.exe I've already installed this and uh, this is my Python uh, folder where I have, uh, where I'll be using uh, I'll be writing the script the name of the script is called underscore aura dot py and uh, this is the script the script is starting with importing the oracle library uh, oracle client library library that is cx underscore oracle if uh, your client is not installed this uh, see uh, this will definitely uh, generate an error and uh, if this succeed then the, this is a format given uh, you, can, you can ignore this one and just straight away go to your connection stream so CX Oracle is your <coughs> actual library uh, which, which has a, uh, invoking a, a function dot connect and which is returning a, an, a connection object so the, in the connection stream we are using username slash password at the rate uh, you, your host name it, it can be host name or your IP address and this slash service name uh, if you have a uh, configured oracle net configuration in, in database in, in your database server you have seen that there is a uh, service name which you have to need to create actually in oracle 12c uh, service name is automatically created and it is the, by default uh, whatever is ID you give or seal or whatever dot local domain this is the default service name you can also change the service name of your own and give your own service name so I have given again I am repeating this username slash password at the right IP address or host name whatever you use slash uh, the service name which is or seal dot local domain now I'll check the version. The version is uh, there is a variable I declared var equal to uh, that connection object dot version dot split. I've been splitting the version, uh, splitting this uh, by dot, and then I'm printing the version. You can also uh, instead of using this, you can also print that version directly like this. Okay, then this is the uh, this is the record set object we use. This is the cursor object. Here I have used the variable car which is equal to connection object dot cursor. I have created a cursor and I will execute the SQL command here it is select star from table name. So I have used select star from section master which is a table, my table in my uh, this schema uh, order by two. Then I am running a loop where I am using a variable result the for result in cursor. So result will retrieve each record. Uh, it will point to the each row of the uh, of the table of the table, and it will print. It's, it's, it's see, it's so easy writing in Python, but in, in other language you use, you have to uh, take in individual food each and each and every individual field and you have to mention its index name you have to mention its field name and then you have to retrieve print the data whether you use java whether you use uh, vb.net whatever language you use whether you use jsp whatever now here python c i'm straight away using just printing the result variable which will actually definitely exactly print all the um, its respective field and value um, within that record. So I'll be running this one. Uh, this is this file is on the Python 3.4 slash uh, the call underscore ora dot py. So it's 
to use the file you can run a python file as you know but uh, both the way you can either just uh, use uh, call cnn underscore ora dot py and press enter or you can also write python space uh, and give this file name dot extension name uh, if, I, if you have a python environment python is not required just type the name of the file and press enter now we will see what the result comes it will connect to the, the database and definitely it will take some time okay so this is my result I have got my result this is the, the content seek how print result works it say uh, it takes out all the all the individual field data and put it in merge it in a string so as you can see uh, just look at the first line look at this line mm, this is the version this is the version we have split it by the dot and we have uh, split by dot and these are split it in, in an array or the version it is converted to an array version uh, if you just print here individual index you can index if you print index you can see now what is exactly the actual content of the version let us just copy this one and instead of please play, uh, putting the split uh, putting the array we just print the version here and see what exactly the result comes here we are say 12.1.0.2.0 now I have printed the string <coughs> Now what you have done, we have uh, split the string uh, by comma delimiter and it creates an array and the uh, content of the array is printed here as we have done before. Let us see, uh, this is the previous one and this is the next one, see 12, then 1, then 0, then 2, then 0. So this is uh, all about connect connecting to Python and uh, creating cursors and printing a value uh, or printing each records of a particular table. So that's all about uh, this tutorial. I hope you will understand it, you like it. If you like it, do subscribe to my channel. This is CBHR 019 Thank you very much.